what are you here before? Come on over here. Eat me. I'm gonna go for it. Hi. Is it like Lena? No. Oh, okay. It's a little bit of 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 so today's topic is what is that? Children. Um like um why is it that some of these children don't have, you know, nothing to resort back on that's poured inside of them. Like their teacher. What are you showing? Oh, yeah, I'm showing them food while you talk. Oh, okay. So they she's, can showing see her, she's showing her food. Yeah. We, we had pancakes, fruit, and um, shrimp and grits. But of course, I eat a little faster than she do. And <laughs> now we're still setting up. <laughs> but we um we were talking um Sunday at the church and saying about, you know, where some of these kids are getting some of the things that they're doing um, and acting out and as far as the shootings and the stealing and um, the disrespect um, stuff like that and so this morning it came to me Proverbs 22 and 6 train up a child in the way they should go if they depart from it you know, then um, they'll come their return. But my thing is, um, if they don't have anything in them, and what are they? What are you putting in them? Like, what are you putting in them? So um, I thought about some people feel like if they have to give their children Jesus the Bible the word then I guess a part of them feel like they have to change as well um, just going to school getting good grades staying out of trouble uh, being respect being respectable is not just enough it's like okay that's the moral side of it you're giving them that part you know the the part of you know um the good kid thing you're giving them that part but well, what about when the good kid get into some trouble spiritually that you know spiritually that that was something that satan used them so now they no longer have, they trying to figure it out in their brain. How do I get out of this? I got to get a lawyer. Um, I got to make sure that they take care of the, uh, the business of if they give them probation, doing, a good, doing the good things all over again. But what about, what if they going to, are they going to do it again? Or how do they... I mean, like, when did the word part come in? So, how, to help me to deal with it spiritually, because some of these attacks that that they are doing are spirit based. Yeah, but they don't know that because yep. it wasn't to them. And I think um, today a lot of parents are teaching their children survival, mm -hmm. just to, to survive. But they're not telling them spiritual, like how to basically to survive the streets and how to, uh, you know, get this and get this and get that you know because if you think about it 
It's so much going on. Whereas though you be asking, well, where is God? Is there is a God? Why is all this stuff happening? Why is he allowing this to happen? Why my friend gets shot down the street? Mm. And it's like, how do you show and explain to this person that there is a God and why these things have to happen or why they do happen? You know, deep. Um, on the spirit part of it, um, I think about um, if you give them that word, if you give it to them, I'm not saying that they're going to be perfect kids. I'm not saying that they won't get into trouble. That's not what I'm saying, because they will, all because they're still children and they're growing. But in the midst of it, they'll be able to have something a little firm to think about, to lean on, like right? to pray with, to pray to, um, because of that word. So how do we reach those children who parents are not teaching them about the Lord? We use some volunteer service. How about some volunteer service, some invites to church, um, some home Bible studies. Um, when the time is, is right, and I, I say right, not right, right. And I mean, ripe is when they didn't got into some trouble. Ripe is when they uh, they need some help, and you see that they need help, and they and they at their 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 low point. Then that's when you can be able to step in um, the most. You meet them at their need. You meet them where they're at. Not beat them. <laughs> Upside their head with the word. I have done that. <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> there was one day I was doing it with my cousin, and God said, um, Told me to back off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God will talk to you, tell you to back off. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you're sitting there and you're pushing too hard, and you push him, and he will let you know what you have inside of your child as well. He'll, he'll let you know how strong their will is because he'll show it to you. And that's stubbornness. So he'll let that be known. He'll, he'll, pick, he'll let you know where you at with your child. So he'll teach you even how to discipline your child as well. And if you have multiple children, he will even do that because each one is different. Especially yeah. if you got different baby daddies. <laughs> <laughs> different personalities. Different personalities. Other other things that's in the lineage of the line of the uh the blood that, you know, comes along. It's it's a little different. <laughs> so even though you may be the primary parent that's taking care of them, mm -hmm. yeah, they're still different. So he even teach you how to discipline them different. So one rule my grandfather said you set your you set your house rules. That's one rule, but you deal with them still differently because they are not the same person. Right. So some of them might be a little bit sensitive. Mm -hmm. You know, some of you can tell them don't do this. They start crying. That's it. The other child you got whip that tail. Be like not beat them down. down. Beat them beat and then, then you got the ones you can beat them down, <laughs> and they still do the same stuff. <laughs> You got some of them too. And they got to just keep trying and trying and trying. But, you know, I call it the hard knock life. You want the hard knock life? Okay. But at least when you get, when they have and made that choice of the hard knock life, that they'll still have that word. When they can be able to sit back and say, I can return to this. Right. Or I can lean on this. And it's not so much that they plan with God or whatever the case may be. Because that's not. Because we all have to grow up and let things go. But if it's in there, they can be able to pick it up and lean on it. 
But if you don't have that to lean on, then what do you have? You have you or you have your friends. And if we the same age <laughs> and I'm doing what you're doing, because we friends, somebody, we, we, we not, neither one is going to church, but they got a parent, a grandparent, somebody praying for them. You said something nasty. You hear me? Somebody praying for them. So therefore, they have that one on their side that's protecting them. That covering. That covering. Exactly. That covering. Because um, sometimes um, I'll be praying. And I'll pray like for, like, I'll be like, oh, Lord, bless up, help my cousins, all oh, my cousins. But then sometimes I have to specify a cousin, and I don't know why. And, and then, speak, it, speak right. that name. Exactly. The full name. Mm -hmm. And then later on, mm -hmm. my mom will come back and be like, well, did you know so-and-so was in an accident? Mm -hmm. Did you know so-and-so was robbed at gunpoint? Yep. Did you know so-and-so was shot twice in the leg? Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, oh, wow, I didn't know. But God was giving me... Having me pray, giving them that covering. Yeah. So it's it's. And it's I didn't even go for like, cause like one of my cousins, I'm like, um, she a first lady, and I was like, oh well, she got covering, but God had me praying for her. Cause it's like some of the other ones, you'd be like, oh, I need to pray for them a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but God had me praying for her and her, and then that's when I found out she was in a car accident. Yeah. And you know. And that 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 makes a big difference because my grandma she's not, she'll be 91 in August the 26th Virgo yeah uh-huh <laughs> and um she uh the prayed prayed constantly when I say your grandparent prayed for you it was a daily thing with her with with me so it it took a while <laughs> It took a long time. It was 30 when I um, when I, I received Christ. I was 30. I had went through a whole lot um, as far as getting to to this level, and I'm still growing. But she uh, she prayed. She invited me to to things at church. Um, it was times that I'd be like, oh, I gotta go with my grandmother. Um, goodness gracious, I'm tired. I done stayed out all night. I mean, I done been doing God knows what. And you, you say, what? You want me to go to church with you? What? Okay, Granny, I'm going. Strolling there an hour late. I'm here, though, with my stress <laughs> to... It was it was it was to the knee. It wasn't quite to the knee. It was a little above the knee. You know, I'm a little older, so it was like when the suits and the the jackets and all of that was, you know, the dress and the jacket was at the same height, you know, you know so you know, and I'm already like five three, so you know, I struts in there with my stuff on and they looking at me like, Oh Jessica Bell is in the building. Did they bring you the sheets? No. <laughs> and no, because I, I ain't going to be in the front, in the middle, and I stayed always coming in the church at the back of the door <laughs> so that I can keep it real. I ain't got time. You so ain't got to say what. I can slip in and I can slip out. I was late, I told you, and, and then I would slip right on out. So when she would invite me or whatever, I would listen. It was like, okay. That's how I know about not having anything to hold on to. So, you just go on your own little stuff. And it was like, she was covering me, praying for me. So, it was a lot of things I had done. And, 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 and thank God that I, did, I didn't get jammed up with a lot of stuff. But her prayers had, had kept me. But that word, I would have had something else. 